Welcome to the newly renovated library of the Jewish Theological Seminary. The JTS Library houses one of the greatest collections of rare Judaica in the entire world, providing the Jewish community and the rest of the world with direct access to an astonishing array of materials that speak to Jewish history and to our shared Jewish experience. My name is Lynn Avidenka, and I'm a Detroit-based artist who is exhibiting new works at the JTS Library. The title of the exhibition is The Work of Her Hands, The Art of Lynn Avidenka, and the Craft of Jewish Women Printers. When I became interested in uh, learning more about Jewish women printers, I applied for a grant from the Hadassah Brandeis Institute to further my study and then decided that it was going to be more of an imaginative project because actually there is not that much written about these Jewish women. So since I'm a printmaker and they were printers, I decided to approach it as an artist and bring all of them to life in the prints that I have made. And then the other part that was really wonderful is that in conversation with curator Sharon Lieberman Mintz, I was told, well, the women that you're highlighting in your prints are actually represented in the collections at the library. So it was fortuitous and wonderful that I'm able to share the work I made in conversation with the books that are here at the library. There are two sisters that were very young. One was Ella, who was nine years old, who set type and put this little message in the colophon at the end of the book saying, I'm nine years old, and if I make mistakes, please don't get mad at me because I'm only nine years old. And that's one that's really famous in the world of printing, and it's actually here at JTS, which I think is amazing. The printing that I've done in this exhibition is relief printing, which means anything that sticks up as at a proper height will take ink and will print. So in the prints that I've created, I've used wood type and metal type in both Hebrew and English. And I have a press in my studio that has a motorized inking system, but everything else is done by hand. So the rollers spin around and distribute the ink. And then on the press bed are the elements that I'm going to print. So it might be type, it might be some kind of imagery. So the rollers go over that first and a piece of paper travels behind. And as the whole carriage turns, the paper goes over the inked form in the press bed and that's how an impression is made. I created a suite of prints that include passages from A Woman of Valor, from Eshet Chayel, which focus on all the work that the woman is doing. And I paired that with a 12-page response to that by imagining a woman who is taking over a print shop after her husband or her brother has died. And the visual imagery includes images from a manual, a printing manual from the 1600s that shows the how-to of printing. And I've also used my own Hebrew wood type to print that first phrase from Eshet Chayel, which translates as, she works willingly with her hands. So that whole suite is really another kind of conversation with the books that are in the JTS library that we've selected to be part of this exhibition. The circular prints that are in the exhibition are inspired by a passage from a polymath from the 1500s named David Gantz, who was telling the Jewish community that printing was a wonderful thing, that it was as wonderful as what the goldsmiths did and the carpenters, and there's a passage in there and he calls printing a wonderful invention. And in Hebrew, that's tachbula rabah. So I set that in type and you'll find some of that embedded in those circular prints, as well as passages from early colophons. So a colophon is the technical information at the back of a book, 
but in early printing it was the name of the printer and where it was printed. I guess that's the thing, that is the amazing thing that they set their names in type and so that we know who they are. And had they not done that, you know, there are so many women that have remained anonymous and these women have made sure that they are named.